I bring you year-end greetings from the home where my family is currently renting. We sold our house this past summer and with our son getting married next summer and our daughter off to college next fall, both exciting, we are waiting to see how the Lord moves us, pun intended. But this situation is a helpful reminder to me that we really are just passing through this life on the way to eternity. It is all temporary. In light of this, our primary focus needs to be on our relationship with God, with others, and how He wants to use us in this life. You know, as much as Feed the Hunger's mission hasn't changed, we encounter unpredictability every year. I've learned this is the nature of serving the Lord, to expect the unexpected. As Paul shared with his spiritual son Timothy, we must be prepared in season and out of season to share about Christ. We must be ready to respond to his leading with obedience and faith. So here are just a few of the examples of the unexpected opportunities that God brought before us in 2022. We had no idea at the start of this year that we would get involved in the middle of a war zone. But God opened clear doors of partnership to help those fleeing for their lives in Ukraine. As a result, you helped so many people there and will continue to have a significant impact. God connected us with new partnerships in Ghana, Uganda, Cuba, Honduras, Sri Lanka, Moldova, and Ukraine, as just mentioned. And following the challenges brought on by the pandemic that we all know so well, such as rising inflation and supply chain issues, we didn't foresee significant growth with packathons. However, many of you helped pack well over 2 million meals more than last year and double the amount from 2020, which is good because the need has only grown. Now, I can't emphasize enough here that while big numbers are great, we are always focused on quality over quantity. We are driven to make every meal, backpack, hygiene pack, and Bible make a difference for God's glory. So let me close with a reminder from the Bible. When Jesus came to earth, he declared in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And because believers have the light of life, he tells us that in Matthew 5 that we too are the light of the world. As a result, we should let our light shine before others that they may see our good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. This is what you have done this past year with Feed the Hunger. You have let your light shine across the globe. You have touched many thousands of needy people with the love of Jesus in spiritual and practical ways in 2022. And by God's grace, that will continue in 2023 and beyond. Until then, I wanna thank you for your praying, your volunteering, your social media activity with us, and your giving, especially at this time of year. If God further directs you to give by year's end through any of the ways shown here, we would greatly appreciate it. Lastly, let me mention our latest 30-day devotional. It's called, Do You Know Me? It will test your knowledge of lesser known men and women in the Bible, and I hope inspire you to further Bible study. You can read it for free right now on our website, or we'd love to send you a free hard copy. Just call or email us. Thank you again for all that you are doing and the deep impact you're allowing us to be a part of. God bless you and see you in 2023.